The Acela Express has so far been the United States' only true high-speed train, which has been transporting passengers throughout the northeastern United States for over 20 years. But when the train set was being developed in the 90s, there was a similar train set that was at the same time very different. The 90s were an interesting time for high-speed rail in the United States, as well as for Amtrak. Amtrak was testing and showing off European high-speed trains, such as the German ICE, which was used on the Northeast Corridor and later traveled around the country to gain publicity and enthusiasm for high-speed rail in the country. But even with the train set traveling around the United States, it became clear quickly to those that lived away from the electrified Northeast Corridor that they wouldn't see anything close to high-speed service like this. This frustrated the public, but also the Federal Railway Administration, who held a conference in 1997 looking for a high-speed rail vehicle that would be able to operate outside of the Northeast Corridor, and announced that they were seeking a partner who they would invest 50-50 with to produce this vehicle. Canadian company Bombardier agreed to this. Bombardier, in collaboration with Alstom, would be the company that would build Amtrak's custom high-speed train for the United States, the Acela Express. Bombardier had experience designing high-speed diesel train sets like the Bombardier LRC or Light Rapid Comfortable. Bombardier would merge the design of the Acela Express and their past experiences designing the LRC to produce this new train set. The jet train was unveiled in 2000 and looked just like an Acela Express set, just without the pantographs and painted red. The statistics were much the same as the Acela as was the design, with a few differences that made it more similar to a conventional train rather than a permanently connected train set like the Acela. With one power car and seven coaches, the train set could operate at 137 miles per hour, but with two coaches, it could reach the same 165 mile per hour top speed as the Acela. The traction motors and power delivery system were also the same as they were on the Acela Express. The only difference was how the train would receive the electrical power. The jet train would use two Pratt & Whitney gas turbine engines, which were also used in helicopters, as well as a conventional diesel engine for operation at low speed to maximize efficiency. The train was, for all intents and purposes, a diesel-powered Acela that could operate on any track regardless of electrification. The only thing holding it back would be the condition of the track and curves on the line. This train set sounds amazing, as it can seemingly provide the same quality of service as the Acela, but without the high cost of electrification. Thus, the train set was proposed for several high-speed rail services across the world, but ultimately none of these plans would ever go anywhere. The project, while it was capable of promising things, never succeeded, with the prototype being stored still at the National Transportation Technology Center in Pueblo, Colorado. The Bombardier Jet Train, an interesting piece of railroad history that was capable of so much. But even though it was promising, no use was found for it so it unfortunately became lost to history. Be sure to subscribe for more.